Hey everyone, Alec from Entopology. Today I want to go over thermal analysis and specifically look back on the heat dissipation for lighting in LED lighting fixture I made last time. Uh, this was an Entop Live where we went ahead and took a ramp and also a transfer function to make a cool LED lighting element. And this was a nice heat sink, but also we can go ahead and take it a step further with some of the simulation tools built right into the Entopology platform. Uh, as you'll see, we have our static, modal, buckling, and thermal analysis. These are all steady state linear solvers, and today I really want to look at the thermal analysis and just kind of take a look at the exact design we previously made and see where there might be some areas of improvement or how you can use your own thermal analysis in your design. So let's take a look. I'm just pulling this up, and you'll see we have the design from last time already ready to go. Again, if you want to take a look at this, I will link to the older NTOP Live and you can get all caught up. But I've set some fin counts as well as arc counts as inputs. So these are variables that we could go ahead and change depending on how our thermal sim uh, comes out and, and really what we want to get out of this heat sink. So let's, uh, let's look at this NTOP Live part two. And now I'm just gonna, for now, hide this upper body and we'll go ahead and show just some of the basic steps. So we're setting up our analysis. Um, here I've designed a, a material to use. Um, we're also gonna go ahead and make a nice FE mesh. So we can go and just step through this. And of course, this isn't a perfect mesh, but it's gonna be great for what we wanna do today. You'll obviously have some real world testing scenarios to, to validate. Uh, in addition to this, right, you're probably gonna have a good idea of what the in-service loads are gonna be like for your part. I, I, of course, made them up, and I, I used a guide that I'll link to at the end of this. Uh, our customer success team actually put it together, and it is a great way for setting your first thermal analysis up here. Uh, it just steps you right through the process and, and what you need to do to get good results and relevant results to your part. So, um, again, here we're defining where the LED element's going to be on this bottom face. Uh, you'll see I have this small area in this kind of transparent look through of, of where the LED bulb would be. And I'm using this to do my static thermal analysis. Um, one thing that I want to point out is I have a basic static thermal analysis set up, and we can look at that in just a second. But if you want to know all the available boundary conditions that you can use in NTOP, we actually have them listed and done out here. Obviously, you're not going to be using them all at once, but it's nice to know that we have our temperature restraints, our convection boundary loads, as well as radiation, uh, heat generation, volumetric heat gen, and surface heat flux. So these are what you would use if you're making your load cases and boundary cases, and I encourage you to open up this file and start editing these. Um, additionally, we have our simple loading condition. Uh, so this is what I made just for today. And you can see, you know, of course, we have a really hot end of this part, um, and it's dissipating and cooling also to our, to our ambient atmosphere, but also along the part itself. Uh, one thing I want to want to note, is we go here to our heat flux, we can go to a directional. And this is kind of neat because I can actually put this in the Z direction, which is along the, the part line. And you'll see how we have a change in temperature gradient from different line segment to line segment. And this can be a really useful tool to see. Maybe I wanna have a thicker area here. Maybe I wanna have thinner strands as I get farther away from the heat concentration, but it's always nice to have. Um, and then finally, the other thing we can do is use some of this data to make a point map. And what we would wanna do with this, and uh, this is really glowing on my screen, but what we can do with this temperature field and field from point map is exactly what I just mentioned, which is to change maybe some of the geometries, the thicknesses, and use that to influence our design. So in closing, um, before we leave, I just wanna point you to some additional resources. So in here, we have our how to run a thermal analysis. This is a great overview of setting up your first thermal analysis, and it also includes some different available boundary conditions to you. And then finally, if you haven't already, by all means, please check out my original NTOP Live, which is Optimal Heat Sink Design for LED Lighting. I'm open to any feedback. I would love to hear your suggestions. If you want to see some deeper dives into the software, please reach out. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing some of your applications. So uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you and please email me. I have my contact information in the beginning of this video if you have any questions. Looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.